thank you. Poverty, poor health care, violence against women make Afghanistan the worst place in the world to be female. That's according to a survey by the Thomson Reuters Foundation. But it's more surprising, perhaps, that India is also among the top five countries where it is most dangerous to be a woman. Well, let's take you to Delhi now. We can get more on this with the chief executive of Save the Children India, Thomas Chandy. Thank you for joining us, Thomas. It is surprising that India is in the top five. It comes ahead of Somalia, Sudan as well. Why is this? Well, uh, before I go ahead, I would like to make a comment about the poll uh, report itself, that it is based on uh, perceptions of uh, gender experts. My first question would be, can countries uh, be ranked on the basis uh, of uh, mere perceptions? However, uh, there are other recent reports uh, that would bear out this report. Uh, there is the Human Development Index, uh, Save the Children's Own Report uh, of the World's uh, uh, World Mother's Report of 2010, uh, says that uh, India is uh, not doing well as far as uh, uh, women's uh, uh, situation in India is concerned, the, the mortality of women and uh, even the gender ratio. Our own, uh, our, our own uh, census uh, of 2011 says that the, the ratio has uh, widened between girls and, uh, and uh, boys. Uh, so it is definitely uh, something that is, uh, that is shameful. I think uh, every Indian should uh, hang their head in shame at uh, uh, this widening disparity uh, for women that's happening uh, within India. The two as issues as, that uh, the, the two issues that the report talks about are infanticide and trafficking. Do you think any progress is being made on these issues in particular? Well, if you look at the, uh, the facts and the numbers, uh, uh, the infanticide, the feticide, uh, they have increased uh, in number. And if you look at uh, trafficking, some reports say that uh, uh, the numbers uh, vary from uh, 10 million to even 50, 60 million people are trafficked every year uh, and 40% uh, of them are children and of course a, a large number of uh, women. So yes, there is an increase in numbers. So those uh, trends are uh, very, very uh, difficult uh, as far as uh, uh, the situation goes for women in this country. Thomas, one of the reasons I guess I was surprised is that women's rights are enshrined in the constitution in India. Women are represented at a political level in the biggest democracy in the world. Why is this still happening? Well, I think uh, the, the problems are plural and uh, it is not uh, uh, easy to find uh, one uh, reason for that. Uh, they are plural and uh, complex. Yes, you're right. We have, uh, we have a women president. We have a women speaker. We have, as of now, four women chief ministers. Uh, so in one level, uh, we see development, uh, and, and, and that's true of our uh, econ economic situation also. And when you compare our economic growth uh, with uh, that of the other countries that, uh, uh, you know, we, we are a part of uh, this report, uh, you know, we, we have a uh, vibrant democracy. Our economy is growing at about 8 to 9 percent, uh, but still, there seem to be problem with women. Thomas well, Chandy, I'm is, sorry uh, to interrupt you. We've run out of time. Is, uh, Thank you very much for joining us. Thomas Chandy from Save the Children. This is The Hub with me, Lucy Hawking. Stay with us coming up. After months of being overlooked, the German football...